when things increase in temperature, something happens to the little atoms and molecules that make up those substances, whether it be you or me or the water, the air, the table, the atoms and molecules begin vibrating more rapidly as temperature increases and they take up more space, they expand. Maybe you've noticed that on a hot day your feet are harder to fit into your shoes because they've expanded. Well, a thermometer works precisely because something in it is expanding. Many thermometers have a liquid in a little bulb down the bottom, it's like a tiny bottle. Look at that, that red liquid is actually alcohol with colouring matter. Some thermometers have a silvery liquid called mercury. But if we put something around that little bulb, and I have some hot water in this cup, watch what happens to the temperature. Now you can see where the red liquid ends, and now there's hot water surrounding that red liquid, and look what happens. The liquid's expanding and it's pushing up. The only place it's got to go is up that tube. And so we see the temperature rising. Well, that's a very accurate thermometer. That's used for measuring the temperature in an aquarium. But we can make a thermometer, which is nowhere near that accurate, but much easier to put together. All you need is a bottle, preferably a fairly large one, and a balloon. And you stretch the balloon over the neck of the bottle like that. There's your thermometer. You might say, how is that going to tell us whether the temperature is increasing or decreasing? What's the fluid? The fluid is a gas, air, and it's already trapped inside the bulb. Now, what happens if that air expands? Where will it go? What happens if it contracts? Where will it go? Watch this. I'll plunge the bulb, first of all, into cold water, and you watch the balloon, see if there are any changes. Yeah, already you can see there are some slight changes the balloon is beginning to collapse even further than it was before because the air inside is contracting, taking up less space, and so the balloon contracts. What happens if we take the bulb, the bottle, and plunge it into hot water? See if you can guess what's going to happen and then see if you're correct. In it goes, the air inside, look at that. The air is expanding, taking up more space, increasing in pressure, and so the balloon starts to inflate. If we take it out, and put it back into the cold water, what's going to happen? Well, of course, the molecules are slowing down, taking up less space, pressure is decreasing, and before long, the balloon goes down to where it started. And so, although it's very simple, it's a thermometer that really works. Why don't you try making one?